All right, Troop Strong and Condition, live and direct from the patio of pain. Now, there's a movie from the 80s, and it's about gang warfare, the Crips and the Bloods, in 1980s Los Angeles. And the movie is called Colors. It stars Sean Penn and Robert Duvall. And there's a scene where both of the main characters are sitting in a car and Sean Penn is a young buck, he's dying to make his mark in the world, his attitude is vibrant but it's immature at times, he likes to rush headstrong into situations and possibly putting his life in danger. Whereas Robert Duvall is an old hand who has seen it all and he is trying to use his experience to teach the young pup to show him that sometimes you need to adopt a certain approach to ensure longevity and to ensure that you can make your mark in this long game that we call burpee culture or fitness. And in order to get his point across, he tells a joke and this joke always stuck with me. It always left an imprint in my brain and it resides in there to this very day. And the joke goes like this. There's two bulls and they're overlooking a field of cows. And one of the bulls is the father bull and then there's the son bull. And Mum is upstairs, there's but if you don't mind going back in the house, Daddy's trying to okay, make a wee video. I'm to yeah. This Wait, okay, you do that, you do that. There's nothing worse when a joke gets ruined by two kids. Anyway, here's the joke. Here's the joke. The young bull looks at the cows and says to his dad, Dad, let's run down to that field and bang a cow. And the dad bull turns round to his son and says, No, son, let's walk down and bang them all. So, I think you kind of get the point. And you can relay this joke into the world of burpees or training. Because there are times in your life where stress, where workload, where real life, as you've seen there, are going to get in the way or possibly get on top of you. But by God, you need to get those burpees done. You need to get those burpees in the bag. And how do you incorporate such a high intensity exercise into that mindset? Well, as burpee addicts, we need to get our prescribed 100 a day or three times a week, whichever is your choice of attack. But sometimes when we go into these burpees, we need to approach that daddy bull mentality. And we need to do that by taking stress out of the game. And one technique or one way I like to approach it is to have an exercise session where I am always doing a hundred burpees, but incorporating it with something else to take the load off the burpees while still incorporating some other exercise modality that is going to give me bang for buck. And I think the best approach in that respect is to break up your burpees. 100 unbroken, I know that's kind of the calling card for a lot of guys. But sometimes you just need to slip those burpees in. You need to slip them in under the radar. Make sure they get done, but at the same time, do not eat stones, dog. But at the same time, making sure that we still keep the burpee fire burning. Now, one workout that I love to do is the Cindy workout. Why? Because it is done in a round format and the burpees are broken up beautifully. They're broken up with pull-ups or chin-ups and squats. And if we do 10 rounds and we do 10 burpees and every round, we are getting our 100 burpees in. While at the same time building that well-rounded machine to ensure that we create fatigue resistance and create balance. Another workout which I love to use 
is 10 burpees supersetted with 10 cleans or presses. Now that is a very demanding workout. That will have your engine on red line. But at the same time, it's very manageable because you can go at your own pace and make sure we get those prescribed burpees in. If we want to focus exclusively on the burpee, when there's no equipment available, then we need to break those burpees up in a smooth controlled style, which is where the leg raise and the jogging in the spot comes into play. Because always remember guys, there's always going to be parts, or there's always going to be times in life where we can't run down and bang the bull. Sometimes we're going to have to walk down and bang them all. And we know which one is going to be the superior experience all round. So guys, if you are encountering any stress, if things are getting on top of you, but you still want to get your burpees in, you still want to get that daily activity off the checklist, then you need to be smart with your programming. You need to realise that not all the time we can go full bore, we can go redlining. Sometimes in life we have to take a step back, relax and enjoy the process. However, always think of it in the context of Chinese water torture. Even though the drip is small and smooth and is not doing much damage, over time it is going to destroy the rock. So always keep that in mind when life's getting too tough, when things are getting crazy, and you want to ensure that you are paying those burpee checks into the bank of gains. Because that way we will experience compounding interest. And that baseline that we always create, that baseline that we build, will always reign supreme. Now, just to go off on another subject, the podcast has been going well. Things are going good on that front. However, there is some topsy-turvy turbulence occurring with regards to getting guests on. So I'm putting out a call out to you guys who watch my channel because I take your feedback on board and I like to try and implement it. And that is, do you have any ideas who you would like to see on the podcast? Is there any guys out there who are easy to reach and would probably be a good fit for the podcast? That would be greatly appreciated because I need your guys' help as well. I need help from you guys because this is a team effort. The Strong and Conditioned channel is driven by you, not driven by me. I just create content. I just put out my thoughts, but it's you guys who inspire me to create content and it's you guys that I'm looking to help because the messages I get from you guys are always greatly appreciated, positive and negative. Feedback is always taken on board and usually acted upon. I would also like to give a shout out to Duncan Walsh Fitness, who recently sent me a very, very helpful email regarding my current situation with regards to creating content. It's been quite difficult for me as of late. However, Duncan was kind enough to take time out of his life and try and put some ideas in my direction, which he did and which I have acted upon. So sorry for not responding to your email, Duncan. However, I will get back to you and I have taken your points on board and have set them in action. So thank you very much. So guys, once again, just to reiterate that point. Sometimes, instead of running down and getting the quick fix, Sometimes we need to walk down and experience delayed gratitude, which ultimately will lead to bigger gains being placed on the burpee table. Anyway, guys, thank you once more for watching my videos. Thank you much more for the support that I have received 
from all around the world and thank you for sticking with me. It's been a great honour. Anyway, thanks for staying strong and thanks for staying conditioned.